we decided since our children are taken care of and we don't have to be home that we're gonna go to the big Walmart and go shopping for a bit. <laughs> Good Friday morning, everybody. I am having my very last breakfast hot pocket, which means I've got to do some breakfast prep at some point this weekend. I've got my zip this here. Um, the boys are still asleep. I need to figure out what they want. Okay, so right away this morning, I have to tell you quick what happened last night. We had uh, such a sweet surprise. Some of our friends, um, the boy is actually Kyle, who has worked for us forever and ever and ever um, as a junior high, high school kid, and we just love him. I'm sure you've heard us talk about Kyle before. Um, and then he is engaged, or just got engaged, maybe two weeks ago, to Katie, who is one of our horse show friends, and they met... Um, a couple years ago so they've been dating for a while and we just love them and it's so fun um, that they're together uh and we just love that anyway <laughs> la 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 uh they came by last night and um brought us that craig and i this um beautiful vintage window with our name last name on it and it's so cute and then asked us if we would be the guest book and the gift attendants of course we said yes we'll do whatever you want us to do we're so excited and then i don't have the guns they're downstairs but they gave the boys i have a picture um nerf guns and then asked them to be junior ushers how fun is that so we're so excited the boys have never been in a wedding before they've been to tons of weddings they love weddings and dancing and the candy and the cake and all the stuff so um they're excited to be um a part of this wedding and we just could not be more excited so that was that um let's see what else Selling words we got to go over this morning yet. Merritt's library books that he has not read, y'all. This is the past. Yesterday we did this too. Um, Merritt McCoy, bleh, McCoy did not read his library book either, y'all. These boys have got to get on that because I don't like doing it in the mornings. Anyway, that is that. I'm going to eat now and figure out what they want for breakfast and then we'll get started with the day. Oh, I'm subbing today. Did I tell you that? But not until 1230. So I'll have the morning to um, get some stuff done. All right. Biscuit is it. <laughs> All right, biscuits it is again for breakfast. They love them and it's easy. So a lot of times I will get the little Jimmy Dean box breakfast where you have the egg and the sausage and, and the cheese. They love those, but it's so much cheaper just to pop open some biscuits and bake those and then have the breakfast sausage, um, the little rounds and then a piece of cheese. Um, Koi, it just wants his plain. He often likes just a plain biscuit, but Merritt always like the sausage and the cheese on his. Um, so I'll warm up his little piece of sausage and then make his biscuit. All right, breakfast is ready. Merritt needs his hair comb, so I'll go do that now. Okay, y'all, surprise loungewear. You know I love it. I, I was going, well, I told myself I would not wear this to like drop the boys off at school, but I'm over it. I don't care. I just like, you, we, there's just like a little drive through thing and you just drop them off at the bus stop. So it's like, whatever. If people want to see me in my leopard, it's fine. <laughs> totally wore this um my loungewear to go to Hardy's yesterday with Craig through the drive-thru <laughs> the combine had broken down and he said uh so frustrating let's just go get lunch and I was like as long as I don't have to take my loungewear off <laughs> anyway um I'm loving it so I'm just gonna go drop them off I have all my makeup and everything done I'll have to straighten my hair I slept on it wet and then um, I'll get dressed later, 12.30. I think I have to go in, so I have a little bit of time. Um, Merritt is reading his library books. Oh shoot, Koi's lanyard broke. We have a ton of them, Koi. You can just get another one for his mask. Um, what else do I need to do? Um, I, this morning I would like to work on that bow for my wreath. I had gotten that ribbon for my um, lantern project that I did that turned out so cute with the candles and stuff over there in the corner of the, of the living room. And I love that, I can show you, the ribbon so much. I wanted to, um, Gold bar. this. I wanted to make um, a ribbon for the front door because last year when I made that wreath, I did, I did it early and the, oh, did I mess up your hair? And there was no fall ribbon out yet. And now obviously I have some cute stuff. So I think I'll try to do that a little bit this morning. Maybe a little um, too much gel. Oh, I rubbed you and I have gel on my arm now. Yeah, we good. might better comb that out. You just dropped, oh, that was your mask. I thought he dropped his biscuit. Anyway, um, so I'll do all that when I get home. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them off now. But first we gotta do Halloween countdown. It's joke time. Well. Can you just find number 12? Oh, it's over there by the skeleton. Way over there. On that little boy's head. 
in the black. All right, he's ready. What do black cats like for breakfast? My mice crisps. Mice crispies instead of rice crispies. Mice crispies because they're cats. That's gross. <laughs> what is it? Oh, what a cool mom you have. This, this, what? Is there not another one? Let me see, Koi. Where it'll show me. Can we build this very quick? Very quickly. Okay. It is a Lego Halloween huh? minifig. Cool, let's see which one you get. I want the wool. All right, what'd we get? What'd we get? Oh, I got a zombie. Oh, we gotta go. You got a zombie football player or something. I got a zombie pirate. Zombie pirate? Cool. Three days All in right. a row, All right, you got thumb holes. We got a scary pirate guy and a creepy zombie cheerleader for our scary Halloween Lego minifigs. All right, we're off to school. Here we go. Last minute study session on the way to the bus stop. All the spelling words. I got them dropped off. Um, I'm just gonna stay in my lounge for until I get ready to go to school. I am gonna go now and do that bow like I said, and then I've got to um, get a thumbnail um, edited and uploaded and get a video uploaded for Monday. It's Friday, but I love to go ahead and get Monday's video done because I do not like having to deal with that on Sunday night when we're just trying to like get ready for the week and everything. So I'm gonna get that done this morning and get that bow done right now. All right, I love this little wreath, but I just do not like the way this bow turned out. So here's the before and here is the after. Oh, I just love how that turned out. I used, um, Arlen over at Arlen's Country Craft Corner. I'll link it below. Um, her bow tutorial. She makes all these beautiful funky bows. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, I'm sure the more I did it, the better I would get at it. But um, how fun. You just cut strips of um, ribbon however long you want. She tells you how to do it in the tutorial. And she has a bunch of tutorials on her um, channel. Um... And then you just pinch it together with a pipe cleaner, twist it, and then I just use that same pipe cleaner to tie it back on the wreath. And now it's done, and I love that so much better than the bow that I had on there. All right, check that off the list, y'all. Okay, I've just been back here in my room working on my outfit for today. I was gonna do some fun big like Halloween earrings, but I'm just not ready to do that yet. It's not quite close enough to Halloween for me to be going crazy. And I really love this sweater with the embroidery, so I think I'm gonna wear this. It's almost like a sweatshirt, really, the material. And then it just has the pretty embroidery down the side with the vest and then these earrings. And I can wear blue jeans today because it's Friday, so that's fun. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to wear. But I wanted to show you I got um, this in. I had told you that I was going to get a suitcase. Sorry, my fan's going back here. For the trip, like a carry-on. And it's got like the spinner wheels and all the good stuff. And it's so pretty. It's like a really pretty pink and mint green. I love this combo. It's so cute. I know my... Um, let me grab these. My packing cubes don't really match, but the pack, they didn't have the pink or the or the mint green in the packing cubes, and it's fine. These were the cheapest, and they had um, the most stuff in them, so that was fun. But I wanted to show you the inside. This is Rockland brand. I can link it below. I think it was forty-five dollars or fifty dollars or something like that. Um, uh, like I said, I got I, I used my mama's um, fun money. <laughs> for this is like a happy for me but it's got pink polka dots on the inside y'all could you die so then I guess you pack everything here and then zip it up and then this can be for like shoes or whatever else I gotta bring the girls I'm bringing the girls out a little happy which I will show you um at some point so that's gotta go down in here too but anyway I just love this it's so nice I feel like the boy suitcases I know you've seen them they're just red and blue about this size are the same brand I got them years ago but they're not um they don't have the hard shell. Um, I think Koi's might have the spinner wheels, but Merritt's doesn't. But anyway, they, uh, they've had them for years and used them a ton, and they have really lasted. So this brand, um, I know, is pretty good. So that's what I got. I'm excited about it. I'm so ready to go on my trip now, y'all. All right, back here at my computer now. I started, this is last year's over here. I started work on my Jolly. That is our Elf on the Shelf, all the stuff that he does. Um, yesterday, I kind of pulled everything out of the closet that I had been stashing away all year. I just get things whenever I see them. 
Um, and so these are the things that he's going to do. Um, a few new things, a few things he always does. Um, and then I just uh, write the day, the dates and the day. And I make sure, you know, when I'm doing my advent calendar and all that stuff. And then our Christmas day and our Christmas Eve because it'll be different because we leave early to go to Mississippi. And um, I put in the days when we're not going to be here if we're traveling or have to do something. Craig and I always have to go to a meeting in December for Cattlemen, So we'll be gone then. And then I just have a little thing down here that says to buy. So I know the stuff that I need to get. Gosh, my computer's dirty. Um, so I know the stuff that I need to get. Um, and that just helps me stay organized, y'all. Because once December hits, and it's like, hi, I'm a pumpkin orange. Um, once December hits, I wonder if I show over here. No. Anyway, um, Vlogmas starts and all the Christmas party starts and all the things that we have to go and do and all the crafting we want to do and baking and all that stuff and it just gets crazy so it's nice to have at least one thing um, written down and I know what I have to do every night and to help Jolly uh, in his Christmas fun. So um, yeah, I love to get this done and have it all organized. Um, so I'm feeling good about that. I am going to spend a little time here editing that um, thumbnail and getting that uploaded. And then I have got to get groceries ordered, y'all. It I usually do it at the beginning of the month and do a huge haul, you know how I do. And then I'll buy stuff here and there to supplement, you know, milk and um, produce <laughs> words. Um, anyway, but it's like, what, the 16th? It's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Trey. Um, and I have not done groceries yet because I've just been bit so busy it's been so crazy and so I'll just run by Dollar General and grab something so we make it through and I just haven't done it yet so I've got to get that done I've got to get my meal plan done for the half of the month or whatever I end up doing but um I need to get it done because I'm just sick of you know making ends meet and trying to get it all done and I just need to have food in this house we have food but it's just like nothing I can like do a meal with it's just like throw together sloppy joes or sandwiches or whatever just quick stuff and I need like real food so I did make queso soup last night. We'll probably have that again tonight. So at least I'm set for now. But I need to get that started and that going. I probably won't pick them up till tomorrow now because by the time I get them ordered, it probably won't be any more um, time left to do it today. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I said this, but we are um, going to go out in the field with Craig today after school we've been trying to do this since monday and every day it's something else either he's done or something's broken or we're at a bog or whatever we just have not gotten out there yet and it's probably he'll probably finish up tomorrow i would think so we really got to get out there today and get that done because the boys just love it when we all ride in the combine together it'll probably be like a hot second because we all will not fit in there for very long but it's fun i told you this in the last one but we haven't done it yet so we've got to get that done today um anyway i'm gonna work on this video now and we'll catch up soon okay i got my thumbnail done my video is uploading i just talked to my girlfriend elizabeth y'all know elizabeth she's been on the vlog many times um she is wanting to have girls night tonight just me and her uh she i know i told you this she's an i'm so shiny um she's an elementary um nurse school nurse not elementary she's a school nurse for i'm not really sure middle school i think <laughs> I think she moves around. Anyway, she's a school nurse. Um, so I have not seen her in forever because I've been subbing and she's been working and we have just been, I have, she was at the witch party obviously, but we haven't just had like, she's the one I usually go to the late night movie with and do all that and have just our little nights to ourselves to catch up. And we haven't done that in forever because of quarantine and then summer was crazy and anyway. So I think we are going to meet up tonight which will be fun. So after like we do, um harvesting with Craig and all that. Um, he should be in by 7, 7.30, and then I'll head out to meet her for Mexican or eat. We have another nicer restaurant in town we might go to. Anyway, we'll see, but that'll be fun. I'm excited to see her. Um, just got call or just got text that I need to go in at 11.30, so I kind of need to speed things up here and get dressed and get ready for the day. Um, so I better do that now. <laughs> all right, I did not get my grocery shopping done at all, but that's fine, we'll make it, we've been making it. <laughs> fine I'll do it sometime this weekend but um I did go ahead and put Koi's laundry in and then when we get back from school I can switch them around and put Merritt's laundry in because they're gonna need clothes for next week and then I always spray once I dump their clothes down in the laundry I always spray them with this called dry the laundry baskets just so they smell nice and fresh so I got that done now I gotta get ready Okay, in true Haley fashion, I changed my mind. I had that um, navy sweater on with the embroidery down the sleeves, and I remembered that it was short, like, um, you know, where it meets my jeans, and I knew I was just going to be tugging on it all day, and I was over it before I even had it on. So, we went with this top. It's kind of like a... Um, ticking kind of a light gray blue ticking, and it's got beautiful embroidered flowers all down the sleeves. I got this from Zulily. I don't know, last year, year before last. And I have, I think this little vest pairs perfectly with it. 
um i'm not sure it's really in style anymore like i see people still wearing these vests but in like a leopard or like a different color or whatever but i just have this plain i have had this thing forever y'all but it's so cozy and so comfortable and it just looks so good with this shirt so <laughs> we're going with it the children will not care if i'm in style or not and then i just have my big red tassel earrings on that sort of match the flowers so that is the look i just have my jeans on with my comfy sperry's um so that i can run around all day so i'm ready um i got my backpack i'm not gonna pack my lunch because i'm just gonna eat quick now and then i don't have to deal with it later um and packing it and all that i'll just bring like my drink with me and then that'll be good. When I get home, I'll switch the laundry quick, change, change the boys, and then we will head outside. Hopefully, I'll keep saying this in every vlog. I feel like that we're going to go out and harvest, and we have not done it yet. So I'm hoping that that gets done today. And then um, see what else I can get done around the house. And then um, I'm excited for girls' night tonight, or I should just say Elizabeth night. <laughs> okay, to school. Okay, I am back. Oh, I need to take my mask off. <laughs> I have it on my little lanyard here. I went with the floral because I thought it coordinated with my shirt. <laughs> the days we live in. Anyway, it's like three o'clock, so the boys still have about 45 minutes till they get here. So I got home early. That's fine. I'm gonna go put um Koi's laundry in the washer and put put Koi's laundry in the dryer, put Merritt's laundry in the washer to get those going. I'm gonna check on that video that I left uploading and see if it went through, and then just sit down and relax for a bit. All right, 3.22 now. Just enough time to have my perfect pumpkin spice coffee and do a little editing. Just realized this was sitting outside a little Amazon package. Um, this is probably a little spoiler alert for my um, Christmas haul, but whatever, it's fine. Um, this I got for Merit. Uh, it was on an Amazon Prime deal, I think for four or five bucks. It's really not that expensive normally. I think it's like eight or something, but um, he has a little friend at church that's always doing origami and giving him cute little things. Um, and he's always like, hi. So I thought this might be just a fun little something to put with his birthday stuff. So it's got like a little book and then a bunch of paper. Yeah, step-by-step -step instruction. Um, and these are those gaming consoles I told you that I got. Um, let me open them up. This, these are they're for Christmas. Okay, so this is what they look like. Um, I haven't turned them on or anything. They just have like the little battery um, cord to plug in to charge them up. I'll probably do that before Christmas so they can play with them Christmas morning. And of course, you know the day after we have our Christmas here, we always go to Mississippi. So this will be something fun to take on the road trip with. Um, I think they'll like it. It's supposed to have like, I don't know, 100 games or something on this thing. Um, I don't know. I can link them below, but they were on um, Amazon Prime deal, but really um, just every day. They're not. I think they're like $30. So, and they had awesome reviews. So, that is part of their Christmas. So fun. Don't tell them, y'all. <laughs> okay, boys are home. We got our comfy clothes on. Ooh, my hair. They just went and fed the horses. Merritt is coming in. I just heard him in the garage. I just have my Wrangler um, Buffalo sweatshirt on, my favorite um, leggings, and some tennis shoes what are you wearing boots boots and, and your shirt a junior ranger shirt and a jacket in my head in your head i love it um we're heading out to the field and then um i'm coming back i told you already for girls night i think i'm gonna i'm gonna change and probably i was gonna put what i had on to teach and then i hung it all back up and i was like oh well i'll pick something else out so <laughs> three outfit four outfits in one day oh, you're welcome okay we um merit has got the cat because she has started getting under the car especially like if i drive somewhere and then i come back home and then i go somewhere like right after that it's fixing it really bright she'll get under the car where it's warm she rode to church the other night when craig went to pick the boys up Yes, she did. And Merritt saw her and was like, oh, there's a cat. And then he's like, wait, that's Mavis. <laughs> they had to like capture her and bring her back home. Anyway, so he's got her. That's good. I um, did not finish my coffee, so I just put the rest of it in this little cup. Hocus pocus. I need coffee to focus. I'm going to let Merritt in here. Um, so I'll get that. We're going to go get. Um, keep on moving when you stop. I don't know. Did you see your cat? I am going to, Craig wants a cappuccino, one of the um, other guys that are helping wants a coffee, and then the boys want to stop and get a pop, and I might get a pop too. Okay, here we go. $15 later, we have all the coffees, uh, some over here too, hopefully that doesn't spill. What did y'all get? Nothing. Pops. Let me see your popcorn. Popcorn. 
popcorn. Merritt got, what did you get, Merritt? Turn it the other way. What are those things called? Starburst minis you're gonna share them with Daddy? Seven up. Okay, now we're finally on the way to the field. We were leaving the store and Craig called quick and I said, please don't tell me something's broken. We want to come combine. And he said, no, I just need you to stop pick up parts. So I'm passing this parts place now. We're gonna pick them up and then we're headed out there. All right, we made it. They are doing a little fixing to the combine with the parts that we brought. The boys are playing a little football in the cornfield. Sending pliers to open up his cappuccino. The combine is running. Time for a ride. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ooh, nice catch. Yeah. <laughs> is it raining? You don't like pumpkin spice? I got him pumpkin spice latte. All right, we're finally doing it. over here. Corn's going right in. Boys are down here. I'm up here. Farmer's here. <laughs> We're not quite as smushed. It's probably not very safe for them to be down here, but we won't do it very long. So you didn't like your pumpkin spice I'm latte? Not, I'm not much of a chick. <laughs> Basic. They have Basic white girl. They had like caramel and other stuff and I thought, it's fall, let's be pumpkin. It was what? good, it was yummy. Oh, they can't see. That's where the corn's going back there. Can you tell them what we're doing? Harvesting. Harvesting what? Corn. What, Mayor? Corn. Can you see yourself? No. <laughs> so Craig fills up the grain cart with the combine and then Dan drives the grain cart over to that can you see that that big what's that okay, thing called Craig? Grain car. That big grain truck and then that auger fills the grain truck up. Okay, and then he comes back and gets more. Does that even make any sense? Then the combine never has to stop. Right, then the combine never stops. The grain cart just always moves around. Stop! Subscribe. Peach. Subscribe to my yeah. channel for more farming tips. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I broke for you. I left the boys with Craig. I'm gonna go meet Elizabeth. I think I am kind of like on the other side. I'm in the town that the Mexican restaurant is in and the other restaurant, and I was like, if we're just going to Mexican, I can totally wear this. Like, it was super casual. You've seen me go to Mexican before. It's not a big deal. Um, but the other restaurant's kind of fancy, so she's texting me now to see where we're gonna go. Um, but I don't have any chips, so I'll have to run by the store that's right next to the Mexican place to get me some chips to do my queso deal. So we'll see what happens, but I'm a free woman. Here we go. All day I've been vlogging, yeah. <laughs> I, when you texted me, I had to tell the vlog, oh my gosh, I get to go out tonight. <laughs> anyway, we just ate a bunch of Mexican food and I don't even have chips, but I just dumped my queso all over my face. <laughs> now my stomach hurts. Anyway. We decided since our children are taken care of and we don't have to be home that we're gonna go to the big Walmart and go shopping for a bit. <laughs> so come on and go with us. Christmas is out. That is so pretty. Can you wonder if you can change them around? $350. Look at this little rainbow one. We really like this one that changes. Oh, something's happening. <laughs> well, there's this. Oh my gosh, why has it got a nightlight character? Watch this, y'all. Why isn't it doing it? Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? It's picking green. Y'all seen these little mini tree rings? That is, oh my gosh. So that's so cute. She does, uh, her little girls have a tree like this in their room with all the cute little, um, my colors on it. They have so many fun things, y'all. That's cute. I, I'm almost thinking this would be cute, like in a little jar or something, but I don't like the orange. 
I'm just obsessed with this. <laughs> That's so cute. I do like I love the miniature stuff. Oh my goodness. So fun. Elizabeth does this type of Christmas. Y'all know I do crazy pink and green. She does like traditional resin greens and kind of a whimsical look. So cute. I also want to show you this because it's the cutest thing. How fun is that? You could put these like outside because it's the enamel stuff that I love so much. I think I got one of these last year, but I don't remember what it said on it. I need red pillowcases. For the boys Christmas. I'm making Elizabeth get her hands stuck in there. Okay, success! Okay, so we're gonna do red and then this navy blue, I think. Alright, y'all, here's the famous loungewear. Do I need another set? <laughs> you know I do. For it. Y'all, why can't I have pants? I can't sleep without pants on. That is so cute. Y'all, my favorite cardigans, the Time and True for $13.98, they have this Christmas green and red now too. I'm for sure getting the green, maybe the red too. I love this, such a good price. I love these cardigans. Okay, y'all, I am home. It's almost 10 o'clock. What a fun night. It's just good for the soul to hang out with your girlfriend. Anyway, the boys are in the living room having a pallet party watching Davy Crockett. McCoy's asleep. Meredith's awake. I'm going to show you quick what I got um, from Walmart. Okay, first up, I could not pass up this little jack-o'-lantern shirt. It was five, I think, or five ninety-eight. dollars Yeah, five ninety-eight. dollars um, It was in like the junior section, so I did get an extra large because, you know, I don't like anything tight on my arms. But I just saw this would be fun to wear with my Halloween leggings just like around the house or even out with like a little um black cardigan over it I don't know I just thought it was precious so I got that I got uh you saw me find the sweaters I did not get the red um Elizabeth said to get the green because it looks good with my hair and I have a red sweater already I don't love it like I love these but we'll see I can always get it later <laughs> I'm kind of getting like crazy with the cardigans but these these are so good y'all the style is so good it's so like flattering and classic and I just love this green color so I got the green and then I did go ahead and get this sort of um gingerbread brown kind of rusty color I debated on it for a while, but I saw it there tonight and I had not seen it in a while in my size. And so I was like, I'm just going to get it because I really do like it. So I got that one too. And then I told you we are going to go to the pumpkin patch on Sunday. Um, and I wanted a cute new little hat because it's going to be really cold. Um, and so they had these time and true pick your pom-pom beanie hats. And they had every color you could imagine and all different little pom-poms and their snaps. Can you see that? And so they snap on and off the top and you can change them up and get a different style. So I thought that was so cute because I'm planning on wearing this mustard color um, to the pumpkin patch and I didn't have that color. So I thought that was cute and I can always go back and get another color and have more pom-poms to snap on. This was $9.99. The cardigans were, I forgot y'all. I told you when we were in there, $13.98 or something like that. I did get the boys some pillowcases to go with their Christmas sheets, you know, I got the green ones to do the Grinch face on, but I wanted just some red and some blue to um, go on all their other pillows that they have. We have pillows galore on their beds. I love pillows. So that'll be cute to go with their Christmas sheets. Um, and they can use them all year too. It doesn't matter. Then I could not pass up this little ornament, y'all. How cute is he? He's turquoise and pink and green, all my colors together. I might even just use him like... Um, in a tiered tray or on one of my little shelves or something. I just thought he was precious, so I got him. Um, I got some paint brushes and all of this green paint and a little bit of white paint to paint all of those cactuses that I got a couple months ago at the Dollar Tree for our horse show banquet. All the girls are coming over. All the girls on the committee, on the horse show banquet committee, are coming over on Thursday night, next Thursday night, um, to paint them. So I was there, so I went ahead and got all the stuff, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. I got some white, too, to do the little... Um, pricklies on the cactus to make it look cute so I got that I finally remembered to get the nutter butter so we can make the little um white chocolate covered ghost uh for Halloween maybe we'll do those this weekend I don't know stay tuned um I also picked these up because I always get these when I go they love these cookies so I got them some of those for the weekend just for fun Koi said he needed a pencil sharpener to put in his pencil box at school so these were a buck um in the clearance section so i got a little pencil sharpener i got oxyclean i love to keep one of these upstairs and one down in the laundry area my mama um turned me on to this uh it's been years ago now and this stuff works i love it so much so i always keep that on hand and i was out i got some ham for the weekend i told you i've not done my grocery shopping so while i was there i just grabbed a few staples ham this big thing of american cheese that i cannot get when i shop at my grocery store 
um, they don't, I don't know, I can't find it because I always do it online. I can't ever find the big pack of just like the sliced cheese, the American cheese. So I got always get it at Walmart when I go. So now they'll have plenty of sliced cheese. I've got a few packs of cream cheese. I don't really have anything to make with this. I just wanted to get some staples since I did not do my online grocery order. Eggs, this is the only kind they have. Usually I just get the Walmart brand, but they were clear out of eggs. Like this was it, this was all they had. So I got them so we could at least have eggs. Um, and then some milk. So that is what I picked up from my random little trip to Walmart. <laughs> You know when I do those trips, I always buy stuff I don't need, but I'm super excited about that little hat. You wait to wear it. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here, put all this stuff away, and go to bed, y'all. Thanks so much for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.